Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, in today's video, first of all, I would like to thank all the subscribers that have subscribed to this channel. Uh, we have reached 1000 subscribers and that's a really, really nice thing to have. So uh, I really, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe for uh, future videos. I'm going to be making a lot of videos on Comfy UI. We have started from scratch. Uh, so if you have missed any of the previous videos on Comfy UI tutorials, make sure to check them out in the playlist Comfy UI Guide. And uh, as a thank you to all the community, I wanted to contribute uh, to, you know, uh, people that don't have the, uh, you know, like really powerful uh, graphic cards or want to run uh, Comfy UI on their uh, CPU only web servers, for example, or on their old laptop uh, to generate images and utilize it, maybe, uh, that doesn't have a GPU, a powerful GPU. So this is a Comfy UI version that runs only utilizing CPU. And uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, it's really trimmed down. It's only like one gigabyte uh, size overall. Uh, so it's really, really trimmed down from the original Comfy UI and only uses optimized CPU uh, libraries. So uh, this is the generation I have set up already for you guys a workflow, LCM workflow to use with this uh, download. Uh, also the LCM LoRa and LCM SD 1.5. And uh, I'm using the S, uh, LCM sampler, but here, the SGM uniform, I'm using SGM uniform. You can play with this and change it as you like. Uh, maybe change it to LCM scheduler, that, that will help uh, speed up the process. But I have it uh, like this in the workflow with three steps and 1.1 CFG. So first of all, we'll get the prompt from Ardenius AI. Dot com if you go here and pick prompt engineer and I just typed funny Halloween costume you just paste it here and you get this image right there so the image takes up around like um, 40 to 60 seconds almost to generate and I'm sure if you change this to LCM it will reduce that maybe to 30 seconds per image so this is the workflow so let's see how to download this uh, the way to download it, I'll uh, keep a link in the description to the GitHub repo. So this is the GitHub uh, repo, comfyui-cpu. And all you have to do is you can uh, download here the zip, uh, zip file. Uh, I have already downloaded it. And you can also follow the instructions here. So there's a, an option to, uh, you know, install a Docker file. If you want to do that, uh, there's fast installation. This, this is for people that use servers, web servers. Uh, fast installation here. Uh, all you have to do is get the repo, copy this link, open a terminal, uh, paste this in, hit enter, and then cd into Comfy UI CPU, and then type this, install Comfy UI CPU, and then type this to start the Comfy UI. And this is the manual installation. For people with Windows, you have to install git bash on Windows first and then do the instructions above. And I made it easy uh, for you guys. If you go to this link, click on it, and you'll, ha you'll get to my coffee page in the shop section. And here you can just enter here zero or whatever number you want, one million dollars or whatever. So you can enter like zero and then uh, get now. And you'll download the uh, SD 1.5 LCM model and LCM LoRa and the workflow that we're working on right now. And this one, the uh, LCM model, you download it into Comfy UI uh, CPU models checkpoints and then models LoRa's for the LCM LoRa. So this one, you go to uh, downloads here and go here into models 
the checkpoint or SD 1.5 model goes here and then go back to models, uh, go to LoRa's and the LCM LoRa goes into LoRa's like this. After you have done that, you just go back to Comfy UI and it will run like this and you can just uh, hit generate. If you want to view the queue, you hit here. And yeah, there's another cool thing that I've added the manager. So here, the manager, you can uh, model manager, then type like, for example, SD 1.5. You can download any model that you want through here and any custom node that you want also. So you can download it and uh, uh, through the manager here. It's really, really convenient. So it's available in the Docker model and in the GitHub model. So you can do that and then just hit generate to generate. I hope you liked today's video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email, leave a comment, or follow me on my coffee page for future releases. So I'm going to be uh, uh, trying my best to release uh, things and give back to the community. And I really appreciate your support. Your support helps me out in uh, giving back to the community as well. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.